that felt like I was having her. And uh, of course, Bishop rushed me to the hospital, didn't know what was going on. Long story short, it wasn't because I ate somebody's bad cooking, because all the cooks in here can cook real good, and y'all food is the only food that I eat. And it's cooked with holy hands, you know. So when I heard somebody say that, I say, boo, I ain't big from eating bad food. All right, this bitch. is good food, okay? But it was because I had an obstruction on my lower intestines and did not know it. Never been put in a hospital for anything like that. But again, long story short, I went through a whole lot of pain. I've never endured in my life. It got worse than uh, labor pain. But I end up, of course, you, you heard some of it, having surgery. And I, um, a lot of it I did not know because my husband, who is way stronger than he thinks, Amen. Um, Amen. Had to tell me because going through the surgery, they thought they were going to do it like microscopically with three little holes, but uh, from eating too much and not exercising, I'm a little bigger than a normal person, just a little bit. And, uh, you know, my kind of fine, but not everybody. Not That's all right, first lady. That's all right, first lady. All so, right. Love you. Well, you ain't. The doctors kind of fine, uh -huh. you know, you have to go an extra mile, and they did the cutting. And so that's not what was to be expected, but it happened. When I went in, I just said, you know, God, I'm in your hands. Never ask God why this is happening to me. You know, I just know my life is in the Lord's hands. And when a night got rough at the hospital, and I didn't say why, but I wondered why, because the pain wouldn't cease, and at least it's like it got worse. And when he should have been asleep somewhere, um, at 2 o'clock in the morning, my cell phone began to blink. And uh, it was the bishop. And, it, and the text just said, because he knew he could trust you. God knew he could trust you. And so I held on to that the rest of the way. And uh, I ended up being put in, uh, having a surgery. And um, I was sitting there, I'm skipping through a lot. I was sitting there and I see you now after the surgery. And uh, the, the uh, Mother Fairfax was sitting on my left. And the nurse who God said she was saved Feel with the Holy Ghost. Won't God set you up? They begin to clap. And uh, because they rolled this machine up and wrapped up all the cards to my left. And they rolled it. It was rolling it past me. And when they began to clap, I said, why y'all clapping? And they said, that's the life support machine. And I said, you mean I was on life support? And right then, I said, God, getting some glory yes, yes, out of this. God, getting some glory out of this. So, I'm standing here. Like I said, there's a lot to this testimony. But I got to move. I came to hear my pastor preach. Mm. I ain't heard him in some months, unless it's been on a, a clipping. Thank God for Tina sending me them clippings. So y'all shout and praise God. But I do, I'm moving fast. While I was in the hospital, um, God, my mama leaves her, well, I can't tell you that, but my mama lived like she in the country and a lot is open. And she say, my angel's watching. You know, when I come to the house one day and she up in there and the door's open, mama, oh child, my angel's watching. I said, you got your angel working all the time. <laughs> well, not only did God send me angels um, at the hospital, 
But I have angels in this church. Yes, yes. I'm not saying all y'all ain't angels. I'm going to get to everybody. But God, you know, you never know how much people really love you until, until mm -hmm. something like that happens. But while I was in the hospital, I do want to thank God mm -hmm. for, she's not here, friend Yara. Y'all know friend from the radio station. Yes, yes, yes. All I did was look up. Mm -hmm. And I, she was in my room mm -hmm. a couple of days after I got in there. She sat her radio station on something and she drove down. Overseer Deborah Cotty. I was in the restroom crying. And when I walked out, she was in there making my bed. Mm -hmm. While I was in the hospital, mm -hmm. I was having a painful day. And Bishop walked in with some very, very colorful flowers mm -hmm. from the Matthews. See there? All right. Mm -hmm. Made my day. See there? I'm glad to see you, Brother Matthew. Mm -hmm. On another day, they said, Give me my flowers while I can smell them. You ever heard some more people say that? Mm -hmm. The Reddick sent me a huge bouquet. I got some chocolate cold strawberries too. Right. I wasn't eating nothing, I didn't have an appetite. But I ate them chocolate cold strawberries. I thank God for it. It may not have seemed much to her, but with all my husband and what he was going through, this has never happened to us, ever. Hmm. We've never been away from each other. Y'all know I've never been away from the church. All my life, I can only think of three times, and I don't know what they were that I ever missed church. But I'd all he had to do was take care of you would never know how much. Mm. We have a little girl. Mm. And I know how hard it is for me to do her hair, but Sister Franklin, Amen. when he got a hair Amen. braid. Amen. Oh, that may be smart to somebody else, but yes. God, I thank yes. you. Yes, yes. Sister Belinda called me. Sister Melinda text me. She's not here. I don't think. In the middle of the night, so many nights, with scriptures and words from God, two and three and four o'clock in the morning, just when I need to hear it. I thank God for the Dixons. Some of my thanks go longer than I can even stand here and give it. I thank God for the Combs. I thank God for Sister Jackie. Who oh, before I went into surgery, pulled out her purse, a big bottle of oil, and didn't care who saw it. Rubbed me down from my head to my feet. All right. All right. To prepare me for that surgery. All right. I believe in the oil. Yes, yes. And I thank God. Yes. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, I don't care what you think about it. She pulled that all out in front of all the nurses and everybody walked in there gripping me. And she just kept on rubbing it. All right, all right. I thank God for that. My sister Rhonda, who's not here. Sweet little mother Fairfax, who's quiet and sat still to herself, was there from beginning to end. All right, all right. When I was in the hospital, and I was saying, I see you. No, I was under. I guess when I was on the life support. All I saw, I did not go to heaven. I did not see angels. You know, whatever they saw, they saw. But I remember being in a room. It really didn't form of a room. All I saw was white. And all I knew is that I was laying down in the hospital bed. And on my right was Mel Fairfax. And she, I had just left her and Bishop going into the surgery. So it was so real until I thought it was still real, but I couldn't understand why all I saw was white, not a building, not nothing, just white. And she was holding me. She grabbed my hand and she said, everything is going to be all right. You're going to be all right. I said, why is she telling me this? I just saw her. And then she disappeared. And to my left was my husband. 
and he held my hand, and he kept petting it and petting it, and he would not look up, but he, you're a woman of God. You're a mighty woman of God. This sickness is not unto them. You shall live and not die. He kept quoting things to me, and I said, why does he sound like he's crying? He kept spoken God's word to me. And the next thing I know, I opened my eyes. And I woke up. And I was told after that, that that's when I came out of. That's when I woke up off the machine. I also want to thank. Wow. Thanksgiving. The power family cooked a meal for a king and a queen and a little princess. That's all right. We had some of every kind of food. I don't know what they ate for Thanksgiving. We had some of every kind of food for Thanksgiving. Oh my God, I probably still got cookies. I found some cookies the other day in my bag I brought from the hospital. I want y'all to know I, I thank y'all for cooking. My husband sure couldn't cook at that time. I thank you. To my, to the musicians, Caleb sent me a text that really touched my heart. He was quoting all kind of scriptures, sounded like a preacher. Where you? Sounded like a preacher. Brother Jermonte, thank y'all for Playing like I was here because Bishop been preaching like he crazy. Ah, yes. And to, oh, Jonathan O'Brien. Yes. I can't stay there too long. Oh, Bless his heart. He's everything. He's some everything. Yes. And to my mama. Yes. Yes. Who had? to treat me like I was her baby all over again. Yeah. To bathe me. And some of these women I called did the same thing. I'm sorry, it's the real thing. Had right. to bathe me and clean me like it's all right for a Not one time did they know stronger. Not one time did they act like I stopped. Right, right. Clean me like I was a baby. Oh, God, I thank God. You're going to get to a point. Right, right. You're right. Hey. You better love everybody. 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 Young people, you better treat every the people. Everybody. everybody. I don't care who don't do it. Yeah, you better yeah. love everybody, no matter who they are, no matter where they come from, yeah. no matter what they look like. Yeah. Treat everybody good. You never know when your never day know. is coming. Bottom line. Oh, yeah. But my mama, my mama, me, my mama took care of me. Once I drop a towel down dirty, I go watch a TV and come back. She don't wash it and dry it and fold it and put it back with him. I love you, mama. I love my mama. The new folk don't know my story. I used to hate my mama. Some of y'all right now, I'm moving fast. Some of y'all right now. When you get behind closed doors, you say, I hate my mama. I heard you in the spirit. You say, I hate my mama. Your mama, mama, y'all don't even know they say that. But then what they say is, some of most of the time, they hate you. Because they don't understand you. But oh, I tell you one day. One day. Yeah. Y'all got to learn how to pray, though. You pray. I told my mama I hated her. I, I did. It wasn't just something I said. I hated her. But you know, I wasn't the only one with the problems. She had some problems, too. So, I had to learn at a young age how to pray to God. Because God can change your mom. God can change your stepdad. God can change anybody abusing you that you don't want to tell your mama about. God can change anybody. You just got to learn how to pray for yourself. I don't care how young you are. You better get a prayer life. I don't want to leave out nobody. But I thank God. Oh, God. Oh God, for my church family, for y'all. How much does God 
when I 